Um, Mr. Morezio, we have noticed a lot of attack ads in the party's campaigns. How do you find these useful, useful to the election? I think that, you know, campaigns really ought to be about substance. Uh, but we're all accountable for what we do as, uh, as politicians. You know, I'd rather be talking, quite frankly, tonight, as, th as talking to students about the fact that, you know, we started something called the Millennium Scholarship Fund, and almost 1,800 students in this riding of Vaughan have received $4 million worth of scholarships. I'd rather be talking about the fact that our plan, our plan, talks about scholarships and bursaries and grants to 300,000 young people in this country. That's what I want to talk about. I don't want to talk about uh, attack ads. I don't think that as a politician you grow or you get elected because you drag people down. I think you, you, you get elected and re-elected and re-elected and re-elected and re-elected because you do good work for the community. That's what people understand. And it's not about attack ads, it's not about getting personal, it's about speaking facts. You don't get re-elected all those times because you're not around the community. You don't get re-elected all those times because you're nowhere to be found. You get elected because the intelligence of people re-elect you. And that is essentially what this, uh, uh, what this campaign is truly all about in this community. It's about the sound leadership that I've brought to this community since 1988, and the facts speak for themselves. Okay, Mr. Lowell, you have one minute. To respond to uh, that question, no, I'm not a believer in attack ads either. But to respond to Mr. Bevilacqua, a lot of people, a lot of people are questioning what Mr. Maurizio Bevilacqua and the Liberal Party have done here in Vaughan. Okay, that is a central question that comes up at the door. Okay, and the book that Mr. Bevilacqua talks about. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll point you to the Red Book One and the Red Book Two. Remember, remember, remember that uh, the Liberals got elected on a lie. Okay, of, of canceling the GST. Okay, and they lied. That book has changed several times. Okay? Uh, I have to. Okay, you're using his time. The time is still going, so thank you. Okay, so to, to complete before I was rudely interrupted by Mr. Uh, Babalacqua, who is rudely interrupting, who is rudely interrupting, show some respect, Mr. Babalacqua, okay, because that book has been revised several times ever since it came out. Yes, it has. Yes, Mr. Mr. Dion is actually saying that he's going to ask for a 30-day review of the of the economy. That's not in the book. So he's promising okay, something that's not in the Okay, thank you. That's your time. Thank you. And Mr. Vincentine, you have one minute. Well, when it comes to the Millennium Scholarship Fund, we're going to scrap that for something more generous as well. We're going to forgive half of all student debt upon graduation. We believe that education represents our best opportunity to equalize the playing field between the rich and the poor. It's very, very important. As far as leadership in this riding, it's the safest liberal riding in the country. I've ran against Mauricio four times, and basically up until today, a monkey running as a liberal would win. But things are... Uh, <coughs> Things are, uh, things are changing, things are changing. People vote for the leader of the party first, the party second, the candidate third. Um, and uh, I'm proud of the leader we have. She's brilliant, she's genuine, and she's trustworthy. I'm proud of the party because we've done a lot of work. We have a, a very comprehensive platform that is the best platform when you look at it from the most important issue down. And as far as candidates go, Mr. Bevilacqua is gonna run for mayor, so I think you should do the honorable thing. Quit now and throw his support behind me. Thank you, Ms. Wilkin. Okay, thank you on the floor. Thank you. It's Ms. Wilkins' turn for her one-minute rebuttal. <clears throat> I just wanted to say that I think that it is a lot about leadership, and I think that Jack Layton will be an, an amazing leader. He is an amazing leader. He would be a great prime minister. Um, I may be young, but I do. Um, I have a lot of integrity, and I have a lot of desire to do uh, what the community wants, what you want, what you tell me that you want to have done in, in Parliament. And I think that... Um, what
stands out the most is just the platforms that parties have. The differences, if you look at the differences between them, you know, the media has all these hidden agendas behind it, all these uh, different ad campaigns. Um, they, they really say nothing much until you actually look at what the party stands for. Thank you, and you have 30 final seconds. Well, th thank you. First of all, for the comment made in reference to Vaughan, I hope that, uh, and uh, I pray as a resident of Vaughan, that the, the council will uh, put whatever is going on in, in, in the city behind it and, and come up with a, a positive resolution to what seems to be, at least what the press says, a very serious situation. So I wish them well dealing uh, with that particular issue. But I, I also want to, to state that I think it's, it's more important to come up with, with a platform and, and to tell Canadians where where you stand and so that you can defend it so the Canadians could actually look at the issue based it. Thank you, this that's your time. Thank you. Okay, and we have another question from the panel.